Hey YouTube, it's the Coupon Prepper here. I just wanted to do a quick little video on some ways to organize your stockpile cause, and maximize your your shelving space because I see, I've, I've watched a couple videos on people's stockpiles and how they've got cans stacked upon stacked upon stacked and I really don't like to stack my cans just because I'm accident prone and it seems like every time I come in to get something if it's near a can that is stacked I usually will knock down a tower of cans so I just wanted to give you guys some quick ideas on what you could do to try to organize and maximize the the space that you have because I mean we're lucky enough that we have a pretty good sized laundry room that we can keep most of our stuff in and I'll be organizing a lot of that stuff this week too that's gonna be my next mission because we just did a whole bunch of sugar and flour and salt and some other things and mylar bags and vacuum sealed them so I'm going to be redoing all of that because right now they're just kind of thrown in baskets. And, but I have them labeled, so I mean, that's a start. But I just wanted to give you guys a couple tips um, and hopefully it'll help you guys save some space. Alright, so my first space saving tip is if you have old soda boxes, the 12-pack soda boxes, if you didn't know, let me... Like, I ripped these off, like the little parts that you break off. And these actually fit a standard soup can. So, I mean, you could use these on your shelves instead of stacking, and they hold 12 in there. And then you can stack the boxes on top of each other. And then it's nice because they just kind of, as you pull one out, they rotate forward. So... And then I usually, when I when I do use this method, I'll put a label of what's in that box. I try to keep everything the same because I'm just, I'm pretty OCD about it. I like having everything face the same way and every like item the same way. And Mr. CP likes to mess with me by coming in here and just turning cans around and seeing how long it takes for me to actually notice. I usually notice the minute I come in. But this is a great way to save space. And then another thing, like I just picked up a bunch of milk crates. I got them at Big Lots for, I don't know if you can see it, where's the label? Got them for $3.30 each, and they're bigger than the standard crates. They're, they're probably, yeah, they're, they're a little bit bigger. They're not square, they're more rectangular. But if you don't have shelves, these stack really well on top of each other on their sides. And then you can just basically just stack the cans inside there. And then you don't have to worry about knocking them over as much. And then you can just stack them on top of each other. Like our shelves, we have... Let me, let me show you up here. We have, like, a lot of headspace on our, on our shelves. Like, I've got some stuff stacked right now that I'll be reorganizing this weekend because I don't have a whole lot of floor space on my shelves anymore, but I have a lot of head space. And I've, I've been saving up my soda bo boxes to start stacking them in there because I think I have enough that I'll be able to get at least one full box of everything that we have. That way I don't feel like I have to mix stuff in. But those are just some uh, some quick little tips for organizing and maximizing your your space because not everyone has a whole lot of space and these are probably one of the my favorite two ways to organize but once i get everything completed i will update you and happy prepping